Hey Primary 3 Math Prodigies, this is Coach Saiful with your daily dose of Math Mastery. So, how is everything going? Math is good, math is fun, math I love. Math I love? Math I love, I mean. <laughs> so, yesterday's question was actually pretty simple. Yesterday's question was asking you this. Okay? And the answer for yesterday's question was... $92. If you got it right, you know what I'm going to do right now? I'm going to give yourself a high five. You! Are a math prodigy. Good job. Okay. So $92. Now, how do we do this question? Now, we do this question by, again, using the quote of the week, which is what? Line by line, the answer is mine. So let's read one line by one line first. Okay, step one. Let's read. Adam, Brian, and Kelvin, ABC, share $567 equally. So I want you to imagine one boy by the name of Adam, one boy by the name of Brian, and one boy by the name of Kelvin, let's just call them A, B, C for now, on their face, <laughs> A, B, and C, okay? Each share 500 and, no, both all share five, six, seven dollars equally. That means at the end of the day, there was $567 I gave them and they shared it among themselves. What does that mean, share? It means they, they give to each other equal amounts of money. They divide it by how many? Ah, divided by three. Good job. Now, if Brian and Kelvin each received $48.50 from Adam, that means after we've done this, after we've divided everything, Adam actually feels like, okay, I got too much money. I'm going to give away $48.50 to Brian and $48.50 to Kelvin. So in a graphical format, how I do it is, after he's gotten the money, he will give $48.50 here and $48.50 here. Okay, so let me write this down. 48.5. 48.50 and $48.50 here, okay? So the question is, how much money does Adam have after giving away this amount of money? So the first step is actually to find out how much money did each person get, am I right? So step one, I'm going to draw out, I'm going to write down here, $567 divided by 3. Now you do your long division, once you do your long division, you will get that one boy has actually $189. So remember, the next step is to write down the, the statement, correct? Each boy had how much? Do it step by step, math prodigies, because once you do step by step, it becomes very easy. So each boy has $189. That's step one. So now I can write this down into the equation, into this uh, picture. 189 here, 189 here, and 189 here. The question that they want they ask us is that they want to know how much money does Adam have after giving away. So let's count how much money Adam gave away. He gave 4850 here and he gave 4850 here. So let's find out how much that is. So it's 4850 $48.50. 48 you can either write it as 4850 plus 4850 or you can do it simply by writing 4850 times what? Times 2. Good job. And the answer is $97. Yeah? And that, and you write your statement. Adam gives what? Ninety-seven dollars gives away ninety-seven dollars. Okay. Now the question again is, how much money does he have after that? So all you have to do is find out how much he had at first. He had one eight nine at first. He gave away ninety-seven dollars. How much does he have left? Very easy. One eight nine minus ninety-seven dollars gives you the answer of. $92 and therefore the answer is Adam has $92 after that and if you got it right you are a math prodigy good job okay and there you go that is the answer very easy Ooh, easy peasy man very easy peasy we're gonna get this right we're gonna make sure our test we get an A on it and we're gonna make sure we get a band one on it I'm gonna get an A we're gonna get an A we're gonna get an A all you have to do is remember, line by line, the answer is mine. Good job. Now, today's question is, Valerie had $700. She bought two similar handbags and had $358 left. What was the cost of each handbag? This is easier than yesterday's question. So I expect you to get it right. Remember, I have very high expectations of you because I know that you can score a band one. I know that you can score an A on the next exam. Okay? I trust you. I believe in you. And remember, all you have to do is, Find out the quote of the week, which is line by line, the answer is mine. Use the quote of the week. Line by line, the answer is mine. Line by line, the answer is mine. With that, this is Coach Stifle signing off. You are a math prodigy. Good job.